Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new CPU cooler from Thermaltake. This is the Thermaltake Water 2.0 Extreme, which is a closed loop CPU cooler and 240 millimeter radiator. Here's a closer look at the box. In case you're wondering, the part number is, is CLW0217. Just real quick here on the back, I wanted to point out that they have included fan control software along with the unit. So uh, you get two PWM capable fans inside the box. You can use the included software from your operating system to set up the uh, ideal combination of noise and cooling for the unit. And uh, here's a look at all the detailed specifications. So of course you want to make sure it's compatible with your CPU socket. If your computer's not more than five or six years old, it should be compatible. For Intel, you have compatibility with LGA 2011, 1366, 1155, 1156, and 775. For AMD, you have FM1 compatibility as well as all of the AM2, AM2+, AM3, and AM3+, sockets. Water block is made of copper. The pump has a motor speed of 2800 RPMs, plus or minus 150, 12-volt uh, rated voltage, uh, current 220 milliamps. Dimensions of 120 by 120 by 25 millimeters, and this is for the fan we're talking about now. Uh, speed can range from 1200 to 2000 RPMs, noise level of 27.36 decibels, uh, rated voltage of 12 volts, rated current of 0 0.5 amps, max airflow of 81.32 cubic feet per minute, and the connector is a 4-pin, which uh, is necessary for the PWM controls. Radiator dimensions are 270 by 120 by 38.3, it's made of aluminum, and the uh, tubing length is 326 millimeters. It's made of rubber. Total weight of the unit is 1,150 grams. And next we shall take a look inside the box, see everything that's included. You get a Water 2.0 Extreme uh, instruction manual here. So it's uh, got multiple languages. It will guide you through the installation process. It has a layout of all of the included hardware, as well as all those specs that I read off the side of the box. You get two 120 millimeter fans, thermal take fans. They have braided cables, uh, four pin connectors there on the ends. They have uh, white fins and a black housing. Next up, here's the radiator itself. Uh, it's got the plastic on there. I'm gonna sort of take a closer look at that in just a moment. Here is the included disc with your Water 2.0 Extreme fan control software installed on it. Well, not installed, but on the disk you install it on your computer. Here's all your mounting hardware. I'm going to organize those in a sec and sort of give you a basic idea of how to set the whole thing up. And then finally, you get your thermal, thermal take warranty information. So here's a look at the accessories that are included. Uh, first off, in this bag you have some longer screws with washers, and those are for actually uh, mounting the fans to the radiator. Apart from that, we have some back plates that are these plastic ones. Uh, the one on the left here is for Intel sockets except for socket 2011 because that one has a universal mounting plate on it. And this one here is for AMD sockets. Uh, each of those have sort of matching uh, retention rings right there with some teeth on them. Uh, for the purposes of a demonstration, if you have this behind your motherboard, you're going to take these metal plugs, four of them, and uh, in the appropriate holes you will punch those through and uh, that will give you some, uh, some actual threading there to mount the screws to. Uh, now you have these thumb screws right here and that's where you're actually going to attach them. For the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to use this put piece of foam to simulate a motherboard. There we go. And uh, then once you have that attached to the back of the motherboard, which you do by virtue of these little uh, adhesive strips, like so, there we go. Uh, and then from that point, you will actually go ahead and mount the water block. Now the water block here has a protective plastic on it, so you do want to remove that, uh, but it has teeth all around the outside. So you actually put this ring on there first, just sort of setting it in place. The water block goes on top of that, and then this bracket, you will punch that through and twist it to the side so the teeth engage. Once that is positioned in there, uh, the actual retention ring on the bottom will snap onto that bracket and sort of hold the water block in between them. And then you can use the screws to go mount down through there and into the threading on the metal grommets. Now one last thing that you do need to make sure you do before that is actually take these little plastic bits. Uh, these will be necessary no matter what socket you use. You snap them together on either side of this retention ring, like this. And bear in mind that uh, they can be twisted one way or another. And depending on which way you twist, well, actually, I'm doing it backwards here. 
There we go. <clears throat> so depending on which way you twist it, you will notice that there are some, uh, there's actually some writing there on the outside. So uh, whichever uh, writing is on the outside will tell you which socket you have it set up for. And if you do have it for the wrong socket, just twist it around like that and that will position it correctly. So for instance, right now, this is for LGA 1155 or 1156. If you flip it around to this side, it's set up for 1366, 2011, and or AMD 2 or 3. And finally, here is a closer look at the radiator unit itself. Uh, again, radiator 270 uh, millimeters lengthwise, 120 millimeters wide, 38.3 millimeters thick. Uh, and you can fit uh, both of those 120 millimeter fans on either the top or the bottom of the radiators. As you can see, there are mounting screws on either side, so depending on whether you want a push or a pull configuration, you can set that up. Looking down here in the end, you can see the uh, termination points of both of the tubes. Uh, tubes here measured in inches are about 12.8 inches long. Oops. And then around to this side, you can see on the bottom, copper water block, there's some thermal, plate, thermal paste that's pre-applied. It's protected by this plastic piece, just so the thermal paste doesn't get smooshed around as it's in trans being transported. Around on this side, uh, when it's installed, you'll be able to see that Thermal Take Water 2.0 logo. And then you have some cabling coming out of here. You have a single three-pin connector, and you'll plug that onto your motherboard, and that will provide power to the entire unit. You have two four-pin power connectors right here. Those are where you will plug in your two fans, uh, in particular if you want to make use of the fan control software. And then to enable that, you actually have a little USB 2.0 header right here, so you can route that over to a USB header on your motherboard, and that way your operating system will be able to recognize the unit and make use of the fan control software. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Thermaltake Water 2.0 Extreme Closed Loop Liquid CPU Cooler with the 240 millimeter radiator. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. You can find more videos just like it. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.